Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It's January 9th and I'm here in the workshop trying to do a few projects. Uh, right now I'm working on propagating some peach cuttings. I have an Alberta peach and now I might not have the ideal wood but just because I don't have the ideal wood isn't going to mean that I'm not going to try to uh, see if I can't get some of it to root. Now this is a 36 cell tray. It's a little deeper than most, a little larger size. Uh, about double of what your standard um, plants, your garden uh, vegetable six packs are so but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill these up kind of pack them in a little bit uh, what I'm using today is kind of my standard mix which is about a 50 50 uh, compost and uh, peat moss, but I'm adding to it, today I'm adding uh, almost a third of perlite, and the reason for this is, is that I want these uh, plant, or these trays to have good drainage, I don't want them to end up root rotting, uh, like I said, I don't know that I have the perfect cuttings so they may take a little longer to root if they root at all I think they will though otherwise I wouldn't be uh, bothering it at all we always got to have that positive look maybe even need to be a plant whisperer and then encourage them to uh, go ahead and start putting out roots so what I'm going to do like I say I'm just going to fill this tray We'll uh, get that done. We'll put the rest of this back into the container. If we make a little mess, I, I think I have a, a broom around here. I can clean it up. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, and I think I'll go ahead go ahead and get me a solid bottom tray because this has got a support but it doesn't have it's just going to drain through and I'm going to water these in in here so and I might even leave them in here a little bit and put them on a heat mat to kind of encourage them to root in quicker but I'm going to do these a little bit different from uh, some I've done in the past I'm going to take, and I've cut my, my cuttings, I have uh, plenty of them here, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to wrap the tops, and the reason why I'm going to do this is to keep them from, from drying out, I won't have to worry about uh, that part of it. And we're going to take us some tape here, or we're hoping we are. This has been sitting in the cabinet a while, but I think it's still, still in good shape. And we're just going to wrap this, the portion that's going to be up from, from the uh, last bud. So, and. We're just going around this. We're, we're stretching this tape so that it will, uh, it can go ahead and, and the buds can go ahead and uh, pull through this. This is biodegradable. And, but it'll, it'll hold the moisture in so we don't have to worry about this thing, thing drying out. And it's as simple as that. We're going to, 
uh, do a few of these and then once once we do that <clears throat> and these aren't, aren't ideal like I say it we've had a really warm winter this hasn't really got into uh, to where these have gone is in real good dormancy I'm, I'm gonna say they they've uh, they've tend to I think the buds are swelled more than they should be but we're just gonna hope that uh, everything works out there's no chance of it working unless uh, I take and do it. It's not going to, they're definitely not going to uh, root if I don't put them in something and, and try it out. So anyway, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. What I'm going to do with, with these to start with, uh, I'm just, I'm going to use my, rooting compound here I just uh, and I just use my pruners what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this on each side on the bottom I, I just want to get rid of the green wood on the outside now <clears throat> some tend to say that they uh, tend to root better if they just they just kind of scrape it and rough up this outside here but but like I say I'm just I'm just gonna cut that that outside off get through that cambium layer so we've got all the green and we're down to the the middle and and it should make it root better out here instead of just out the bottom now these are fresh cuts but uh, this morning but I'm gonna go ahead and and trim this this bottom so it is really fresh and that way uh, when we put the rooting hormone on here, it's it's going to make real good contact. Now this this container here is just about, I would say, just about empty from rooting hormone. Looks like my piece has dried out a little bit. Get it wet again, and and we're get a little rooting hormone on here. And I'm going to let this uh, rooting hormone set. For just a little bit there give it time of course it's not it's not like it's going to be out of the way and we're gonna make sure we've got good contact there we'll let that sit just a little and then all we're gonna do is uh, make us a hole now when you're when you're doing this make sure you don't shove these all the way down to the bottom of your container uh, Make sure that they're up a little bit. Otherwise, your roots are going to be right there at the bottom, which, you know, that's, uh, uh, if, if you don't mind that, that's, that's fine. But uh, it's got more room to grow roots if it isn't. And it looks like I could have taped those down just a little bit lower. But anyway, I'm going to get the rest of these uh, taped up here. When you're <clears throat> wrapping this, you want to make sure that you don't over lap it a bunch you just want to make sure that it does just catch the end of the other piece and like say stretch it out that way your buds will be able to uh, pop through this as as they come up <clears throat> there's no need to pull this off it's biodegradable so it'll uh, come off itself in in the end but your whole purpose is we're trying to keep this scion wood from uh, dying before the bottom of the the <clears throat> roots take hold and you just want to wrap the part that's going to be underneath the, the ground you want you really want a couple of uh, bud areas below the ground so, because that's where your uh, undefined cells are going to be and, and what they'll do is they can uh, turn into roots if you don't have any buds under there, your chance of survival or of it rooting and very quick is going to be really slim. So, so like I say, just make sure you take that into con consideration. But what I've decided to do <clears throat> is make this into an experiment. I don't need all these completely, and I don't necessarily have them, have to have them by a certain time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, taken and, and uh, 
put half of these in without tape like I normally do and put the other half with tape. I'm going to stagger the row so that way they'll all be in the same type of media, medium, uh, the same type of media, and they'll get watered the same time. And you know, we can't say that it was a uh, clump here or a clump there, they'll just be intermixed. So, so we'll be able to see uh, truly if there's a difference in the, how quick these root. Uh, one method uh, or the other method. Now I soaked my uh, pieces beforehand and then I stuck them into to water here. But whenever you get ready to start uh, wrapping them, you, you don't want to wrap water inside of them. Give them a chance, shake the water off, give them a chance to just kind of dry just a little bit. It doesn't matter if they're moist, but you don't want them wet because you don't want to encourage uh, any type of mold or something uh, under your tape. So it doesn't take a little bit, just set, set them, pull them out, set them to the side while you're uh, working on uh, maybe shaving the sides or something and, and then uh, come back and, and uh, put your tape on. Also, when you wrap this, you want to wrap it uh, starting at the bottom. That way each layer that comes up is overlapping the layer before below it. So that when you do water, if it gets water on it, it's not going to uh, have a chance of an opening there that's going to funnel it in into the uh, behind the tape. We're just putting on a little rooting hormone, putting them into their little holes. Like I say, I don't know how well these will do. Of course, we never do when we're uh, planting stuff, and especially if we're uh, planting something new that we haven't uh, done. Now, I have propagated different types of fruit trees, but I hadn't tried certain methods and uh, some works better than others and if you're going to and I'm trying to grow quite a bit of fruit because if I can't uh, if I can't defeat the, the squirrels then uh, I'm just going to have to take and, and uh, plant enough that they can't get it all that's all I know so that's the plan here. It'd take an awful lot of them to to strip a bunch of trees and maybe eventually my my dog might do a good job of of keeping them off the property but when you have a woods next to you it's it's one of those things that you just uh, you have to kind of live with. And it varies when when you're rooting uh, your propagations. It varies on on the time that uh, it takes for for roots to form, and you know ideal conditions you might start getting roots in uh, three to to five weeks. Uh, but you don't never know if that's that's going to be the case. It could it could be that. Uh, you're looking more like uh, 12 weeks or so. Certain certain types of varieties of plants take a lot longer. I'm not a f professional on that. I only do certain ones, and most of them that I I root uh, nor normally they'll they'll root in 
between a month and two months. So, but what we're going to do, we'll put the the last of these in here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and water them in. They there are different types of. Uh, rooting hormones. This is just one that I use. I've used it for quite a while. There's a lot of liquid ones that that may uh, some may work better. I'm not unless some company wants to send me some and have me compare it to what I'm using. Well, I might, but other than that, I'm just going to stick with this. It's not very expensive, uh, and it does appear to work. Uh, these will actually root without hormone, or you can use some other. Uh, things that are uh, available as far as uh, I've seen uh, apple cider vinegar uh, aloe vera you know there's a there's a lot of things that could be uh, used for rooting but anyway I hope you like this video this will be kind of the start and hopefully I'll uh, this is the start of my peaches but uh, we'll see once I get all these uh, rooted and started into the, the uh, in the different progressions of them then then we'll go ahead and uh, upload that video being I'm propagating so many different fruit trees I'm going to be doing regular updates on this so if you'd like to uh, get the updates just subscribe hit the bell button and uh, you'll be notified